Hey everybody, welcome to Broadway.com's Live at Five. It is Thursday, August 30th, and I am Riley Gilbert. I'm Paul Lachari. And we are here in the studio with content producer Caitlin Moynihan. Hello. <laughs> hey, Ryan, who's that handsome guy over there? That guy with that great beard over there. We have Brandon J. Ellis here in the studio talking with us. He's going to talk all about the play that goes wrong, U.S. Tour, which is launching next month. But first, let's go through today's top five. A new Winky Prince is headed to Broadway. A new Winky Fiero. Prince. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love a new Fiero. Oh, you guys. Yeah. Brian McCartan. Yeah, absolutely. Who was in Heather's Off Broadway. Off Broadway. Yep. Absolutely. Fantastic in Heather's. He will be making his Broadway debut. It's a big as deal. Fiero in mm -hmm. Wicked, starting September 11th. He's replacing Kurt Hansen, who has been doing the role for the last few weeks. Right? Yeah, his, yeah, for a while. Yeah. His final performance will be September 9th. Um, yeah. So Ryan was JD. In, yes. In Heathers. Yeah. Christian Slater. Mm -hmm. ball. And then he kind of made. Heathers is now a big hit in London. In London. Oh, yeah. It's huge. Yeah. West End. London. Yeah. Um, and he was Brad in the Rocky Horror. Right. We watched that in our. We office. did. We, we had, had a little. Time screen. Mm -hmm. Aww. Mm -hmm. uh, and he was Diggy on something called Live and Maddie. It's like Disney a Disney, Disney channel show. Right. It's a Disney channel I didn't show. Oh, that. Moynihan knows. You're the it's right age. With Dove Cameron. Yeah. Oh, you're the target audience? Yeah. No, way younger than me. Oh, okay. My old job. I saw that J14. Remember that magazine, J14? They were really excited about Ryan's casting today. They're still around. I like they're J14 still around. Magazine? Like the, where you would, you know, like teen, teen bar. Teen yeah, like all. Oh, yeah, day? absolutely. Yeah. Different generation. I didn't realize they were still around. Yeah. I love it. I love it. And an all-star cast has been announced for this Kennedy Center production. This cast is Talks crazy. About. See, what what is it? Oh, my favorite. <laughs> Little Shop of Horrors wow. is happening yes. at the Kennedy Center. Um, this cast is absolutely ridiculous. Josh Radner is going to be playing Seymour alongside Megan Hilty as Audrey, which is Fantastic. just it's just inspired. I'm so excited. And James Monroe Eigelhart, Tony winner, playing the man-eating plant Audrey too. And Lee Wilkoff, who originated the role of Seymour off Broadway yeah, back yeah. in like 1982, he's going to be playing Mr. Mushnick. So he's amazing. Played Mushnick before. Did he play him before? Didn't he Look play at that. Mushnick in, in the production that didn't come. Oh, oh, I think Lee. you're right. Yes, he did. yeah, he I believe Honey he Brown did. Director, yeah, well, Alice Ripley, Hunter Foster. Yes, that's right. Billy that's Porter right. Mm -hmm. Which I mm -hmm. saw. I remember you I saw. Yeah. You don't miss anything. <laughs> no. So this. So anyway, so he was fantastic. I got yeah. a sneak peek of it. And so you will get to have a peek as well if. You go to the Kennedy Center at the Eisenhower Theater. Seven performances. You don't have That's a big it. window to see it. October 24th through the 28th, right before Halloween, directed by Mark Brokaw. That's so cool. That's going to be a big hit. Yeah. And I am booking my ticket to London to have my own Dancing Queen moment. Okay. Okay, I, Everyone was freaking out. I'm so excited out. for this. I was freaking out about, about I'm so excited. excited <laughs> so, Mamma Mia, the party. Yes. yes. Exclamation it's point. It's an interactive experience. <laughs> it's like medieval. Uh, it's like medieval. Medieval, medieval times. times. Yeah. <laughs> or who else? But gayer. Um, oh, Olive Garden. Olive, Olive Garden. Garden. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's a big party. You're at, what's it called? The name of the tavern? Yeah. Nico. Uh, Nico. Nico's. Yeah. Nico's. Yeah. Nico Nico's a tavern owner, yeah. and they're gonna serve you the food, and they're yeah. gonna sing the songs, and yeah. they're gonna tell the plot, maybe. Yeah, I hope so. so. Still won't know who her dad is. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, it's so much fun! So they've been doing it in Sweden. Yes, and yeah, none that's of us right. Have seen it in I have Sweden, not seen it. No. But now mm -hmm. they're gonna do it in London at the O2, which is like that fancy. Yeah, uh, yeah. Venue. Early 2019, exact dates to come. This is everything. <laughs> I want this in Brooklyn. <laughs> yes. Why isn't this in? I'm down. I'm down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is so exciting. We also we found out who is going to be flying across the country. Yeah, yeah that's yes. fine. I'll yeah, end it there. This is Did we really talk right about there. Wicked? Yeah, <laughs> uh, the Finding Neverland tour is entering its third oh. year of touring the Broadway.com wow. Audience Choice Award winning musical. Wow, that's, that's third a long year. But yeah. And we have new cast members leading that tour. Jeff Sullivan and Ruby Gibbs will be playing J.M. Barry. Ruby Barry. Gibbs, I like Ruby that Ruby Gibbs, name. isn't that a great Ruby, new yeah. She's a recent Elon University graduate, so congratulations. Wow, on congrats. this big gig. Oh. Uh, she will be playing Sylvia Llewellyn, Llewellyn Davies, of course, in the national tour. Uh, you may have seen Jeff in the national tour of Disney's Beauty and the Beast. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I didn't, but no. I wish I did. But, uh, yeah, I, I got to meet him. He's great. 
great. Um, the show will launch its third year on October 1st at the Hershey Theater in Hershey, Pennsylvania. <gasps> is that near the amusement park? Yes, I it's right it next to oh, it. That's right. Our, our geography expert, yes. Uh, <laughs> we'll go all across the country, including lots of Broadway Across America markets like Albuquerque, Boise, Columbus, Madison, Salt Lake City. You'll get to see it all over. Go see it. It's a great show. And we got a little sneak peek of an upcoming gigantic musical. There we go. I was living. I mean, this. I've talked about this before. I'm very excited about mm -hmm. King Kong. I, I feel like you've made all of us excited. I have. No, really. Yeah. I'm, I'm so excited now. I've done that. Very excited. Yeah, I'm excited. And this music Like I did about Bandstand about a few years which. ago. <laughs> Early on that. Yeah, I actually never it. seen the King Kong musical, <laughs> so I'm not speaking with... I just love the story. <laughs> and I also love Christiane Pitts. She's <gasps> She's amazing. amazing. She was in a Bronx Tale, and now mm -hmm. she's playing Anne Darrow. She's the one in the hand. She Monkey's going to carry her. Yep. Uh, <laughs> last time I saw her, she said she hasn't ridden the hand yet. She hasn't. No. Oh. But maybe by now she has. And now she's the queen of New York. <gasps> queen of New York. Good mm -hmm. segue. That's a good segue. I know you all love King of New York from Newsies. <laughs> now oh. there's a show tune called Queen of New York. Absolutely. And Darrow's like an aspiring actress. She, she is. She wants to be a star mm -hmm. in, the, in the show. Mm -hmm. So this is a brand new music video that dropped. <laughs> This is an Eddie Perfect the song. Lingo. Eddie yes. Perfect is a songwriter. He's also writing Beetlejuice. He's like the hot new super thing. Super busy, wow. And you get to hear some of his music. It's a super modern sounding song. Mm -hmm. uh, Christiani looks amazing. amazing. She's not in her period getup. She will nope. be in full period 30s drag right. in the show. This is, all modern <laughs> this is new different. York. Yep. King Kong starts previews October 5th. Can't freaking wait. The dancing <laughs> is super cool. Drew McConey's dancing. It's it looks yeah. really I'm so awesome. excited. Yeah, no, it's going to be good. It's going to be great. I'm into it. Thank I'm going to go watch so the video again. <laughs> go watch the music video again. Paul, thank you very much. Caitlin, why don't you tell us about today's special guest? Of course. Guys, today we have Brandon J. Ellis in the studio with us, and he is about to be making sure audiences are laughing all across the country and then first national mm -hmm. tour of the play that goes wrong. Mm -hmm. Brandon has previously appeared on Broadway in Company once and most recently our beloved bandstand. He also <laughs> appeared in, once on the West End, so he's been all over. Um, his screen credits include 30 Rock and Dietland. Be sure to follow him on social media. This is his real Instagram name, okay? <laughs> At Machete Thunderpants. That's really it. So follow him there. Um, and leave all your questions in the comments down below. Everyone, please welcome Brian and Brandon. With that vanilla and tobacco in the air. Look you can smell that. it? I can. I can. I got a new one. I know you take <laughs> such good care of your beard as we've... This is your second time here on Live at Five. It is. You're used to this. Yeah. It's great to have you back. Glad to be back. Promoting a very different thing. Something you mentioned in your last Live you remember at Five that? appearance. Yes. yes. Tell us... Uh, tell everyone what you're going to be doing. What you're, what, why are you here? I will be playing Trevor in the first national tour, Play That Goes Wrong. Yes. And uh, yeah, the last time I was here, you guys asked me... Like what some dream shows would what be. What are some things? Yeah. And I said, play it goes wrong. Look so that. look at that, serendipity. Look at the, <laughs> out of the sky, and here you are. Yes, you're playing Trevor. He is the lighting and sound engineer of mm -hmm. the show, who's very busy texting yes. while he's supposed to be working. Yes. Um, when you when you kind of picked this, hoped for this job, what was it about this show? What was it about this role? Why did you want to be a part of the play that goes wrong? Oh, man. I mean, when I went, I was just talking to uh, Imani about this um, when I went and saw the show, I did not know what, what to expect. Right. I went on a night with a bunch of other actors. Mm -hmm. And once it got rolling, I remember thinking, if they make me laugh more, I might I might have to leave. Right. Like, I'm in pain. <laughs> right. I'm in pain I right now. I know what you mean, yeah. So it's also an ab workout, if you're looking for an ab workout. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I immediately was like, you know, I've done income, improv comedy for years. I was like, i mm -hmm. got to be a part of this because they – Th this all was born out of an improv, so improv troupe, and they, yeah. whenever we, whenever they bring in a new cast, you a lot of that is is about creating a new feel through right. improv. Right, absolutely, a whole new dynamic. Yeah, right? yeah. And uh, so I, I, anything that's about joy, I just immediately am like, I got to be a part of that. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And it's got all, such bona fides. It won best new comedy, the Olivier yes. Awards, a few years ago. Won best scenic design of a play here on Broadway. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, it's a hit. What are you most excited? Wh why are you excited for people across the country to be able to see this? What, what have they been missing out on if they <laughs> haven't been able to come here? I mean, I, I just got to bring it back to just like endless laughs. We're at, mm -hmm. we're at a time right now to like be able to watch something that is completely apolitical. Right. It's just sit down and have a good time. It doesn't matter if you're eight years old, if you're 38 years old, if you're 98. I mean, it, anyone that comes into town that, and they say, like, I don't know what they like, and they're like, right. we want to, like, 
do a Broadway thing. I always send them to play that goes wrong. Yeah. Especially if they got kids. Because yeah, I absolutely. mean, it really is, and they always enjoy it. It reminded me of, I remember going to see, like, for a school trip, going to see, like, Noises Off at, like, a local community <laughs> yes. theater. It's very much that sort of spirit of just, it made me, for, it reminded me of what I fell in love with, with yeah. theater initially. Yeah, it almost it's feels. So cool. It almost feels like a musical. Yeah, it, no, rhythm. absolutely it does. And it's been a huge hit here, longest running play for a long time now. Um, this is your first tour, is it yes. not? So what, are you nervous? Are you excited? <laughs> I am what both is, of those things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have, I've never toured before. Right. Um, I've never been out of the city for more than like three or four months wow. doing a gig. Wow, um, including your trip to Yeah, Western. the trip to London was yep. like three and a half months. Yeah. Um, so I, and then... All my friends that did tour, they toured when they were like 22, mm -hmm. 23. Yeah. So I'm like a little long in the tooth for your <laughs> first tour. But I'm really excited to see the country Absolutely. and go to these places. Like when am I ever going to go to Des Moines? And now right. I get to go hang yeah. out for a week. And apparently that city rocks and has the best food ever. Well, that's the thing. You're going to get to see so many amazing cities that you've heard about. That mm -hmm. It's so cool. Um, how are you and your cast bonding? Um, I, great. Yeah. We're like fast friends immediately. It must. I think it's a product of this show. It just attracts really like good people mm -hmm. and uh it seems to be important to the people uh involved with the project that it's everyone wants to hang out with everybody right yeah because you got that. yeah it, it helps the sense of play so sure like immediate friends with almost everybody yeah that's amazing i know in your last conversation here we didn't um get to talk about you how did you get involved with performing i know you thought you were going to be a musician mm -hmm. right when you were younger how did performing taking that and do acting come into your life man i was uh i was playing cello and then uh, I remember I was being at home I, I was at home watching I think it was Robin Hood Prince of Thieves oh my I love that movie <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah and it's fun. there's another guy in the cast movie. who had the same moment as yeah. me they were, I was watching and I was like I knew that and so I went. I came in. <laughs> Kevin I, Costner's amazing British accent. I mean, his flawless yeah, British with accent. a little bit of Boston in there. Yeah, he managed yeah. to crush an accent that doesn't exist anywhere, <laughs> no, no. which is awesome. No, um, he. Not. I. Uh, so I came in the next day and I auditioned for the next day, next week, something like that. Auditioned for Doll's House, didn't get it, okay. um, at all. And uh, but I went back and auditioned but, for the next thing and did get it. Yeah. And then I sort of just immediately fell in love with it, like 17, 18 years old, and switched. My, went to the same college, but switched my major. To acting. Got it. Okay. And uh, okay. then I got my degree in acting. And wow. that's, that's how it all started. In all your jobs, you played an instrument. And all. This is your first. There's no instrument in the I know. I wrong. I know. I'm Besides gonna your light and sound. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna, I do get to kind of hold my phone so that, c that occupies my hands a little bit. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'll be walking around the stage. Like, what do I do with my... <laughs> <laughs> and you were saying like you kind of... Um, who were your comedy influences grow growing up? Oh, man. There were so many. Robin Williams. Mm -hmm. um, I was course. a bit, yeah, big fan. Actually, I'm a huge fan of him just as an actor in general. Yeah, no, um, he's unbelievable. Jack Black, I think he's <laughs> great. Uh, Louis C.K., um, Cosby. Um, um, I mean, I'm informative. <laughs> yeah, yeah of course. Good comedian. Yeah. Um, I love uh, Chappelle. Uh, these, I, these guys that are brilliant writers and satirists mm -hmm. as well as comedians, they're the mm -hmm. ones that attract me the most. Sh sure. And yeah. now tell me, uh, fill me in a little bit. On the beard, so it was much longer. <laughs> it was much longer <laughs> when you were here before. Yeah. Was it hard for you to? I to mean, because that's an investment. That yes. Is, that is time. That yeah. is commitment. Was it hard to trim it all off? It was. You kind of started to feel like that's where you're storing all your power. Sure. <laughs> 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 so yeah. It was very hard to yeah. trim it off, and I was actually growing it back out and had to cut it off before, right before we started rehearsals for this okay. to do. Not cut it off. Trim it down to this. Right, 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 um, right. Right before we started rehearsals. So I may or may not grow it out again. We'll see. Gonna, so we're keeping at least this. We're keeping though. at least this. Okay. They seem Amazing. They're, they're, they're very flexible. It's in great shape. Thank yeah. you. Thank you You're very, very much. You're very welcome. Uh, they're very flexible over there. If I want to grow it into a Fu Manchu, I think they'll be mm -hmm. cool with it. So we'll see what yeah. happens. No, I'm sure you can get away with whatever you want. Stay tuned for what happens. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to turn over to Caitlin, some of the viewers, in a second. Um, mm -hmm. But tell us a little bit again about Trevor. So if I remember correctly, Trevor, the character you're playing, he is only kind of doing this job for, like, credits or something like that. Yeah. What's it, the – yeah, go ahead. Well, yeah, it depends. They um, So the way that they they create the each new cast is mm -hmm. they bring everyone into a room, and you improv sort of – we create our backstories through improv, oh, what our cool. idea of it is. Oh, wow. So each, each person that's played each role has had a different idea. For me, my Trevor is 
guy that grew up in the Appalachian Mountains <laughs> and uh, ended up going on the road as a roadie with some rock bands. Okay. Uh, got into a little bit of trouble. Mm-hmm. Did a little bit too much drinking. Sure. And then ended up having to cobble together, you know, theater jobs to like make money. He doesn't like actors. He doesn't like being on stage. He doesn't like being there. It's curmudgeonly dude. <laughs> he just wants to listen to Duran Duran, mm-hmm. <laughs> fl- flip through Facebook, and then go home and crush a pizza and a beer. But he's got to be here to help. And he's got a really big problem with Chris Bean. Not mm-hmm. a fan of that guy. <laughs> Um, love it. I love this. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. so cool. It's every, and everyone's backstory is very specific. Right. And it's great to, they'll bring us into the room and we'll spend an entire day just That's fascinating. That's yeah. so cool. Have you ever had an, a, a similar experience to that professionally before? Or is this a first for? For, a, I, it, it's, cl- I mean, I, I wrote a show years ago and we created it through improv, mm-hmm. but it wasn't quite as involved wow. as this. This is, I mean, in terms of something I've been hired to do and they've been like, Go, you're free. This yeah. is hand, like definitely the first. That's <laughs> fascinating. That's great. And congratulations on Dietland. Huge hit. Thank you. This summer has been such a big it's a great show. So fuzzy, so fantastic. Yeah. I loved the book. I loved the show. Me too. Congrats on that. Thank you how so did much. You, how did that? How did you get involved in that? I was. I just. Uh, I think it was during. They're, they're crazy for you lab. Right. Yeah. Okay. They, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They yep. asked me to come in and and you know book wow. it and. Uh, I didn't know anything about it. My mom told me it was a book. Was such a good <laughs> and uh, read the book, and I was like, wow. I mean, it's incredible. Yeah, it's so funny. It's such a great idea. It's so like fantastical. It's almost mm-hmm. like a, I don't know, Tim Burton y. Yeah, no, that? exactly. <laughs> yeah, where it's like magical realism, sort yes. of, but set in very like Me Too, t- you know, like, 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 like this time. Congrats. They Congrats. they won me over when. Tony, I don't think they call him Tony the Tiger, but when Tony the Tiger had like a two episode arc mm-hmm. in her life, I yeah. was like, "It's my kind of, it's my kind of show." <laughs> <laughs> so good, love so it. Good. What would, what would some of our viewers like to know? Yes. <clears throat> so, is there a joke or physical comedy moment that you're most excited to perform every night? Hmm. Uh, yeah. There's a, <laughs> I. I don't know if I can give it away or not. Oh, I, can, I don't know if th- you don't know. You don't have to give it the exact <laughs> phrase. Can I give away specifics? <laughs> no. Nah. There's a thing that happens. A lot of things happen. Yes. <laughs> yes. So th- the answer is yes. <laughs> when that one thing goes wrong. When that thing happens that's going to happen to me, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. love that. Um, okay, so another question you can probably answer is, what is it like going into more a comedic show versus like the rest of your history has been more mm. serious or somber things? What, yeah. How has this been that process been like? Uh, that's it's super interesting. That um, I mean, I sort of started doing mostly comedy stuff, so it's mm-hmm. kind of like coming back home. I did improv comedy for years, and uh, uh, the show that I wrote years ago was all b- um, born out of improv comedy and sketch comedy. So it's. Uh, I uh, I love it. <laughs> I'm so glad to be back doing it. When did you um, did, did you always go by Brandon J. Ellis? And do you share with anyone what the J stands for? Yeah, I do. the J stands for uh, James. Okay, which Great. is uh, one of my yeah one of my uncle's names. And um, I for a second I was gonna make a joke. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw that. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything clean, <laughs> so I had to say my actual name. Um, <laughs> Um, Very but it, thank yeah. you. It's James. It's because when I when I joined Equity, there's another Brandon Ellis sure. mm-hmm. uh, in Atlanta who's like an underwear model or mm-hmm. something. And I was like, I don't want to be mixed yeah, up with that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Put the J in there. But it, uh, you've grown into it though. You like it now, <laughs> Brandon J. I've grown into it. Yes. It's very assertive. I thought you meant you've grown into <laughs> underwear model. <laughs> <laughs> career, you know, long career. Yes. Do what you got it, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Oh, I like this question. Lucy asks, "What is your favorite Duran Duran song?" Rio. Nice. Why not sing There we go. I was like, yeah. I don't know. I don't know Duran Duran. Uh, Trevor is a Duran Duran. Where he's li- there's a moment. Right? Trev- yeah, Trevor's yes. a huge Duran Duran fan. Mm-hmm. He's got the entire box set as True, well as the vinyl. Of course he does. Yeah. Um, that'll uh, you'll learn all about that when you come and see us on mm-hmm. the road. Mm-hmm. Have you have you gotten into the process? Because I know there was a little bit of a look at because there's a real obviously stage manager yes. that's controlling all of the things that are happening in the show. But yeah. then your character has to be timed perfectly. Doing, have you gotten into the logistics of that yet? Yes. Has that been daunting at all? <laughs> yes, that's that was one of, one of the one of the first <laughs> things that they uh, said to me is that you need to you need to be sure that you're 
at least sometimes calling correct, do, pr- yeah. you know, doing correct cues because he is at least sometimes paying attention. Right. And they have a um, Sharika, uh, the P- uh, PSM, ASM, yeah, mm-hmm. on Broadway right now gave me, she made out a sheet of every single cue that I should know and okay. then, uh, then wow. here are the cues that you can wow. miss. And uh, that was what most of my first week of rehearsal was, yeah. was like figuring out when that because is. Because that must just be because you're supposed to, you have to act distracted enough to where each of those cues right. is like, oh, yeah, I'm supposed to do, but also being really on top of your shit the yes. whole time. That's yes. That's well, good luck. <laughs> being, <laughs> yeah. being genuinely distracted but still listening, that, yeah. is a str- that is a struggle. Yeah, well, you know, that's why you get paid the big bucks. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I love it. We can do one more question. Okay, so people are wondering how, because you're rehearsing now at the Lyceum. Yeah, mm-hmm. awesome. So how are you guys getting ready or prepared to kind of be traveling and taking this crazy set onto different places that sometimes have 3,000 seats at them? Like, yeah. Man, how is I, that? I mean... All, we've spoken about this a lot. One mm-hmm. of the cool things uh, for us is that because we're going into these massive houses, we do get mics, mm-hmm. whereas the people on Broadway aren't mic'd. Um, mm, okay. So we get they protect our voices a little bit more. That's one of the most daunting things. One of the um, Greg, who's one of the original creators of the show, brought up that he actually loves that because part of it is these these people trying to put on a show th- that and making it more important than it is. So when you get into a three hundred person house and you've got this tiny set that's not filling up the whole stage. It kind of looks like, oh, of course. what are they doing? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Which is kind of sense. in the spirit of the show. Right. So I think Ooh. that's going to work in our favor. Absolutely. <laughs> well, you are all in for such a treat. The tour launches September 18th, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the Benedum Center. Go check it out. It's headed all over the country. Brandon, we love having you. Thank you so much Thank for coming you. by. Thank you. The seat back. is always yours. <laughs> Caitlin, why don't you take us out? Sure thing. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live at 5 every single day on Facebook. You can listen to our podcast version by searching hashtag live at 5 and hitting that subscribe button. Be sure to tune in on Tuesday when we talk to Louis J. Stodlin of the Hello Dolly National Tour.